Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at the customized menu of Gundam Extreme vs. Maxi Boost On, starting with background music. If you go down here to the menu screen, uh, you'll be able to see them all, but as you can see, you can set the music for mobile suits, virtual screens, victory screens, defeat screens, menu screens, and import songs of your own to be able to play. Uh, if you go to the menu option, you can see the entire list, and you can even sample them. Uh, these are not every song from Gundam, and a lot of these are remixes, so they can get around copyright problems. Uh, but still, very, very solid. Some of these remixes are actually really good, too. Uh, but quite a few songs in here, as you can see. Quite a few. I still definitely would like uh, the rest of them, and maybe the original versions. But uh, not bad at all. And of course you have the, the individual new songs made for the game as well as some remixes from older games in the series. A couple of those that I would like to see back too that aren't here, like Be a King Always. But uh, then you have communication messages. You can customize those for during battle, pre-battle uh, with basic things like understood, good morning, hello, understood, and watch out for their power weapons and the enemy's melee attacks are powerful. Uh, so definitely, you know, take advantage of that. Then you have the really cool stuff here, in my opinion. The music's great, but you can change out the pilot for customization. So you have the different versions of Amaro here, which are great. It even shows you uh, which Amaro and how much they're going to cost to unlock out of GP if you haven't unlocked them yet. Uh, then we have Char. Very, very cool. Makuve. Camille. Fachiro Bajina. Lieutenant Emma. Shirako. Man, from Mars. Uh, Jupiter, not Mars. Wow, Jupiter. Uh, Judo. Hamon Karn. Char. Uso. All the different versions of Uso. Katagina. We don't have a long hair Katagina, which is interesting. But we have Domon. And we have Domon. Sai Sai Chi. Master Asia. Schwartz Bruder. Very cool. Hiro Yui. Of course. What, uh, what other costume would you put him in, right? Uh, Zex, Zex Marquis, Garrett and Tifa, and in space, uh, normal suit version, you have Shaggy Frost, Leron Sehawk, in the costumes you would expect for Leron Sehawk, uh, Sochi and Kapool, or Corin in their Kapools, uh, and then of course you have their out of costume versions, Harry, his uniform, Kira in his uniform, Raul Le Crusade, Isaac Jewel, uh, Shani, and of course all three of them are in their various different uniforms. Uh, you have Kira from Destiny, Atherin from Destiny, Shin from Destiny. That's all he's in. Uh -huh. uh, you also have both versions of the Destiny version Gundam and the Impulse version. Uh, Lunamaria, Stella. Most of these are just the basic costumes you would expect them to have. Uh, but some of them, again, lock up with an eye patch. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Grimmins all marked. Ali Al Sanchez. Mr. Bushido. Very cool. Interesting that they don't have like a, a regular version of Mr. Bushido here. That's very strange. Huh. Mario Cruz. And of course they have uh, Mario from the Kishatria. Kazuki Algus. Of course, Mikazuki being new and piloting, I think, the most suits, maybe next to Amuro in this game, has a bunch of different variants. So you have regular Barbados, you have uh, Lupus, you have Lupus Rex, you have uh, Tatsuya Yuki in the Zaku Amazing. You don't have a version that has his glasses, which is kind of a shame. You have Christina, Bernie, Kowaraki, Anamogato, Shiro. You have Norris Packard with his helmet, which is super cool. Kincaid. Amuro. You have Soul and Selene. Sven Kalbayung. And then you have Stethia. And I really thought we'd have a lot more Stethias, uh, but just the two. So, very cool. Very cool. From there, we get into the Navis. So now we have all of the options for Navis. And if you watched the demo version, there's not that many new additions. However... Amon Karn in a dress. That's new. Uh, then we have... I don't remember which other new ones we have, but we'll just keep going down the list here. We'll show them each off. 
And when I spot a new one, I don't think we got this casual Jumaragi before, which is very cool. There's only one Captain Bright. You can't replace him. You can't, you know, go too crazy. But good old Captain Bright. It's interesting that you have these three. They don't have any other of the age characters, but they went ahead and chose Emily, Yurin, and Romery. It just it seems odd to me. I expected maybe they would have the Captain of the Diva, each Captain of the Diva, you know? But still very cool. Aina. And then, of course, you have all the Stethias. All the Stethias. Just like before. And then finally we have... I say finally, we still have three things to go. We have titles. All very cool. For all the different suits. And all the different characters. 279 of them. So, get to play around with those suits. Get your proficiencies. Spend your GP that you grind it up. Get all those. There's also silver versions, gold versions, and rare versions. Very, very cool. Then we have emblems. And, of course, these also are going to cost you a little bit of GP. But quite a few of these that are available. So find the one that you like. Unlock it. Mix it up. There's a lot of options. I really like that they have the whole Shuffle Alliance here. Very cool. But yeah, there's a kind of like something for everybody, you know? They picked a lot of these. It's kind of crazy just how many are in here. It's like, who would go, oh, I want the AEU symbol? Well, you got it if you want it. That's an option that you have. You can get the Soul Braves, you know? Like, it's nuts. I love it. I love it when they go in-depth like this. Very, very cool. You can get Shin Matsunaga's logo, you know? And then finally, we have gauge designs. So these outright change your gauge, the way that your all your gauges look on screen. And I'm just going to scroll through these here as we go. I think the idea of gauge changes is super cool. Being able to make them whatever you want, being able to make them look whatever you want, very, very nifty. Now, most of these, not all of them, but most of them are going to have unlock conditions. So clearing specific branch battles or clearing specific logs uh, and then some GP cost as well. But I'm not saying you should unlock all of these. Some people probably will. Uh, but I think these look really cool and are a nifty way to change up your play, especially if you play a lot. They're a really cool way to go. Uh, you know, I kind of want to, I want to see something different here. And so you can just do that. Some of these get kind of ridiculous. Fight 950 online battles in total. That's going to take a while, but you can do it. It just takes a little bit of work. You can get there. I really like the Neon Haro one. It looks great. 30 Years of Gundam Games is really good too. Some of these require proficiency by playing a lot with a suit and uh, doing missions with it. But still, Operation V is such a cool one, too. I love it. They just, they went really in-depth on all the options. And it's not a huge thing, but it's an important thing to me. It's going to make it a lot more replayable. I'm going to play a lot more of it. Like, I already would have played a lot. I'm gonna play a lot more to try and unlock all these. Like, I want this one. Look at this. Look at how cool this is with the shining. Oh, it's so nice. Undefeated of the East version, the Noble Gundam version, Rising Gundam version. Get the Epion one, which looks really slick. Yeah, and there's the Zero System one. These are all super cool. Like, look at how different the Tall Geese one has the, like, shield of the Tall Geese. The Tall Geese 2 one, at least, has the shield of the Tall Geese in the middle, which is nuts. I love how much these mix it up. You even have stuff where, like the Freedom, you know? Like, this is so cool to me. I don't know, for some people, some people have already, like, turned this video off. They don't care at all about these customizations. I think stuff like this is really cool. 
Like this one, blended coffee, it only costs you a thousand GP. Super cheap, but you can get it. We still have a lot more of these to go through and I've kind of ran out of things to say, but uh, I really am stoked for this game. Got to play it for a while. Got to unlock all this stuff. And I hope that uh, all of you will bear with us as we make a ton of videos about this game. Xeon Forces 3, 1000 GP. Looks really cool. I do wish there was a way to sort this page. I really like the, the Age Gundam A there. I wish there was a way to sort this page just by unlock conditions. Because I can see it being really annoying to try and look for just one particular. But I guess you would find it with the lock on there once you start unlocking these. The Tewaz one looks really cool. The Bile one looks really cool. Oh, the Delaz fleet one looks really nice. Nightmare of Solomon looks really cool. Jungle. Full armor. Psychozaku. Space Pirates. That, mm, that's really good. The Exam one looks really nice and clean. The Nightingale one looks great. Serpent's Tail. All of these are really cool in their own way, I think. Look at the, the Amina gold frame has the wings on the back too. That's really cool. Zaku 2! Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Gotta have every Zaku 2 version. Plavsky particles! Iori models. The hot scramble. Gunpla battle! Yes! The extremes. Celia. EXAs. And that's all of them. Let me know which one of these was your favorite in the comment section down below. And until next time, I've been Trey. This has been the Full Spectrum. Remember to always enjoy the Full Spectrum that Gundam has to offer.